So I want to do another demo for you guys with markers. Uh, this time I'm going to try to pace myself down to uh, a real limited amount of time, somewhere in the neighborhood of about, like, let's say, like 15 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is a great benefit of markers. That last piece I did tended to run a little bit late. There's a lot more detail in it. So I want to show you how you can really knock out some cool concepts being really rough. So I have a blue color erase pencil here, and uh, what I'm going to do is just really knock out some type of uh, weird village scene or something. I don't know. Um, let me just come in here and see what comes to mind. Okay. Go ahead and throw a horizon line in about here. And uh, maybe this is, I'm thinking this is some type of hay up here on the top. So I'm going to limit myself to just about 15 minutes to pull this off. Okay. A couple of rocks down here, something at the ground plane. So break up part of the ground here. I'm thinking this is like a hay rooftop. And then same thing here. This was initially a roof. Top, and then I'm going to come in here and put some indication of like hay in here. Okay. This is going to be some type of chimney. Oops. Let me get that centered. Something like this. I have the side to this coming down here a little bit. Some more hay up there. Okay. Something like this. And maybe on this side, I'm going to put a, some type of a window structure here. It's underneath. There's my horizon line right in there. Okay, so this is going to be underneath here. This is a curving shape, so I'm going to curve part of this window ledge here. We can see a little bit of the side of it like that, and in here then I'm going to have a, let me see here, something like that coming out the top, and um, For a shortened part of the door or something here, it's opened up. I'm gonna make that go the other way. What am I at now? I'm at three minutes. About okay. Something like that. This is lightly above the horizon line, so we'll be able to see a little bit on top of it. Okay, and then so I have this hay hanging off here. And um, I like that better, a little bit taller in there. Rooftop, and out here, I'm going to put something, some type of table structure or something. Maybe it's like a bench of some kind. Go like work area. And 
put a shelf up here. And look at my horizon line again. So I'm going to know I'm going to be just slightly. So maybe up on the shelf I have a couple weird pots. Maybe you see it. there's a book or two. A weird vase or something in there. There's something like that. Just thinking of a couple elements here. So and maybe here I have a part of a broom. Okay. And um, don't ask me why I put a desk up. Now I was just thinking of a work area. So since I said maybe this is like carved out of wood. Thickness to it. Um, maybe there's a book of some kind up here. Uh, tools. We have some tools or something here. Maybe put another row here. And there's a hammer up here. Maybe another type of tool. Tool line down there. Uh, there's an, a wooden bench of some kind, maybe down here or so. Okay. And um, so let's come up in here. Put that. There's some type of rope and wooden pole that sticks out there. Maybe that wooden pole is also coming here and sticking out from this side. And um, maybe it has rope hanging from here, let's say, like this. Okay. That. So I have a base side there. I got that. What time am I at? Oh, I'm at seven minutes. I'm trying to keep this in 15, so I got to move my butt. Um, this was a rooftop here. I didn't get a chance to really stylize it too much. But I wanted this like lumpy hay on it. I like the the fireplace. Make sure that perspective's pretty tight on that right there. Okay. And um looks like I have a cool overhang here. And let's see here. I need to work out this corner. This is an elliptical shape. I'm gonna be able to see a little bit underneath the back side of it so I might bring some of this in and imagine if that was there and here's where my building came up. So I'm going to be able to see on top of that ellipse so I can darken a little bit of what might be underneath there. Okay, like that to help pop the shape a little bit more in here. And I started to put something here that was really just sort of straight edged. Um, give it a little bit more sort of a fun shape in there. I mean, there's like a smokestack, and here's another another stack or something coming off the top there. Okay. Race that edge off there, so I'm liking this. I got this little stool area here, a little work table there. Um, and I have this, I like that, it's funny, I like that sort of rock shape here. So now I need to come in here and address some structure in this other square building edge here. Maybe that comes off a little like so comes out and so I have that structure there let me put another structure element here um, I'm gonna put a crate in here I don't know crates are fun why not everyone needs a crate right it's it's filler objects that I use sometimes maybe a stack of bowls in here and something like this okay so and maybe on top of that crate, um, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. Sorry if I'm drawing so far out. What time am I? I'm at nine minutes. Okay, so I got a couple more minutes here. So I want to put some type of front door element here, and then another window of some kind, maybe in here. Okay, so this is like somebody's side house or whatnot. Okay, a little dwelling in the middle of the forest. Um, so for these windows here, I'm going to put an edge on the window, let's say about here, but then I want to have these look like they're shut. So, so I'm going to go like this and put in two pieces and I want to have, um, look at my horizon line right there. So I'm going to come up and go directly above it for one plank. 
another plank, another plank, and then I can put in some stripes of wood so it looks like it's it's something is shut there. And then I'm going to finish the door up here. And uh, perhaps the should I open the door? Now let's not open it. So. So I'm going to have the door here. I'm going to have to put one of those big round knocker opener things right in there. Put some little metal detail right in here. And then I'm just going to sort of put what looks like wood can be on the door. Okay, so that's working there. And then um, let's do a little bit of a path of some kind. So there's a path from here that takes us to here, let's say. And so that's part of our path here. And we'll have a little bit of a circle emphasis in that composition. And um, and then I don't know where this is going to go necessarily. I'll just fade it off like this. And um, uh, oh, I had this idea. What about, for some reason, I like barrels. Barrels and round rain gutters and stuff like that. I don't want a tangent there, so I'm going to overlap some of this barrel shape right here. That's pretty good. And the barrels have, I'm going to stylize them. They have metal loops around them usually. Holding part of the barrel together. Like that, okay. So that comes off as my barrel right there. What am I at? 11 minutes, 47 seconds. And I just realized my pencil sharpener is unplugged. That's okay. Because I plugged in some extra lights here to give you guys a little bit better vision. So that's pretty cool. I need to push... This is feeling really basic here. I want to see what I can do to push that silhouette. So uh, I like the chimney coming in here and coming off. And maybe I need to just push up some of this hay up here. Maybe this needs to go up a little bit higher. Like that. And then I can sort of... I know, it looks like funky hay, huh? It's starting to look like hair. That's all right. I'll thin it down a little. Like that. That's okay. There. Breaks the shape a little bit. And, uh, oh, I know what I could do. I like that, uh, this hay stack on here, on the roof. What I'm going to do is pull it back a little bit, like this, and make a uh, an open roof door. That'll break the silhouette a little bit. Couple little pieces of wood indication in there. Try to get the perspective right. Okay. Put a little hinge on it. Maybe it's like popping up like this. A little bit more of an angle. But I don't want to get a tangency there, so I'm going to pull that fireplace back a little bit. There, that'll work like that. A little cross section, cross section, little piece of wood. And now I have a little uh, roof opening, let's say right in here. Okay. I'm, I don't know. I might ditch that roof opening. I'm having second thoughts about it, but I'll just leave it in for now. Um, let's see what else. I like poles. Let me, what if I have a, a weird shaped pole coming off of this and stuff's tied to it. And maybe down here I have, Another wooden pole hanging in here. That ties me into my composition a little bit. I need to put something down here at the base so it's not just an empty stick going into a ground plane. And um, and then I could come in here and just sort of really make it look like there's rope in here. Wrapped up. What time I'm looking at my camera? Oh, 14 minutes and 40 or 50 seconds. So here goes 15 minutes, I promised. And some clothes items hanging right in here. Okay? And then a little bit of backdrop sketches there. And one last thing. 
couple stones. Large stone in the front, smaller stone back here, smaller. There, so this is going to be like a rough path right in here. There, I'm going off of there. Okay, so that's my 15 minute sketch. Okay, uh, and now let me go over that real quick in pen, okay? Okay guys, uh, now I have my, my quick rough here. And what I'm going to do is, I just wanted to show you uh, the other marker comp I did for you, the first demo was a little bit longer, um, it was more intricate. I want to show you how you can quickly knock out ideas and that's actually one of the best uses of markers. I'm going to slide it under my, my pad of paper here, okay? I'm going to take a piece of tape, it's that non-stick tape, okay? Or semi-stick tape I should call it. And uh, just put that down. And now I can see part of my image underneath there. And I'm actually going to take, um, I've talked about pins. I talked about the Faber-Castell pin, which is right here. Uh, I talked about the Fountain Pentel pin, uh, the Micron Pigma. I got these from Staples. They're called an OptiFlow. And I, gotta, I think I only have a couple left. i got to get another box. These are fantastic. They don't smear, and you get a really nice sketchy quality. So what I'm going to do now is just really quickly, I want to match the energy that's still left in here. So I'm going to do a quick line drawing. Instead of going over it all tight, I'm going to just come in here and try to hit areas and just have a nice sort of sketchy feel to, to what I'm doing in here, okay? And uh, tr try to get, you know, see if I get any little ideas or whatnot that, that pop in here. And um, I have this rough sort of shape in here and I want to sort of give the illusion that, that some of this is, since my horizon line, I'll put a little indication for it, is right here. I want to be able to see up on top of that. Okay, so um, I've been talking for a minute and 40 seconds. I'm looking at my camera timer. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can knock this clean up out in about 10 minutes here. Okay. And try to get some thicker lines on the outside here. And I started, I got to watch because this ink is, it's really nice, but it does smear a little bit. It takes a, a second or two longer to, to dry. Try to have some sort of thick ends and smaller ends in here. Okay, and then I'm going to sort of come over here and Look at my, my little window piece in here. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm trying to draw this somewhat fast to retain some of the, the energy that I had in it before. Okay. I know some of you are like, how do you draw it so fast? Well, some of it's practice though too for doing this, you know, for a couple of years uh, working for different clients and companies and stuff. Uh, I have this rounded beam down here. Not beam, it's the edge. Okay, and I had an arching. Oop, I'm already smearing the ink. Oh, look at that. Okay. Get this uh, this rock shape in here. Get this little. Well, my fingers already got them all. this wooden stick shape that's coming out. On the side here, put something hanging on it. Okay, do the same thing here. I had a
put a broom in here. And, and some of this detail now gets really complicated in here, so I'm just going to try to wing it real fast. take a quick look underneath here and see what I had in there. Yeah, I had a book right here. And I might put another book next to it. I had some kind of a, a vase. Shape in there. And um, let's see, I got a couple fingerprints in here to see if I can erase some of that off. Check again, look over there. Yeah, yeah, that is. Some other shape in here. tools. I had a little shelf in there. And get that other shelf that was there. And I'm slightly under my horizon line, so we'll be able to see just a teeny bit of it. And what did I put on top of there? I just put some weird box. Okay, and I put like a piece of iron or something. I watch my perspective here. I had this at a weird tilt. And that'll be fine for now for rough. And I had a wooden seat. seat and then we can see the interior of this shape right in here and I had a crate right here and put a couple bowls on the outside here. Okay, that's my little crate and let's um where did I distinguish that building shape? There it is, right in there. I had to put that line right there. That's sort of the edge. Need to get a little bit too much of a tangent there. And put a book in right next to it. Uh, 
there. And I got the window here. A couple vertical lines there, they'll make it look like it's wood. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. And um, let's come back over. I have this door. What am I at? I'm at seven minutes right now. So I had another two when I stopped it. So I need to pick up the pace here a little bit. Okay. Okay, we got a little bit of the door in there, and um, I'm still smudging my pen. I think I just put my knuckle into something. So let's look at that roof line that I had. Uh, it looks like I had a little bit of a roof line coming in here. I'm going to have a couple of tiles in here. Offset them a little bit. And then I have some hay. Trickling in there as well. Come back and put a little bit more of the edge of the roof in there. And uh, up on the top here. Okay, and a little bit more hay stacked up. And then I have this little opening on the top there, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that guy in. Look like there's a little bit of wood there or something. Okay, and uh, I'm go ahead. I didn't put this in my sketch, but I'm gonna put what looks like a little hinge or something in there. And there. I just got my little roof hatch open. You know what? I put on this back side. I was going to put a little handle, but now I'll just leave it alone. And um, put some more hay on the side. Hey, and then I'll sketch in a couple more indications of tiles. Okay. And now I'm going to knock out the chimney real quick.
there. It's got that. And uh, I'm going to have my, my barrel. Let's get that guy in there. Turn this sideways and get uh, a decent ellipse. I need to double check one thing though when I'm looking at that ellipse. Where? I'm smudging ink everywhere, but that's okay. Clean some of it up. Right there. So I am looking underneath. I was right on my horizon line with my barrel. So let me come over here and sketch this guy in for you real quick here. What am I at? I'm at 12 minutes. So I'm right about where I want to be. I'm almost finished here. Put the metal straps in on my barrel. Okay. And I'm going to come in here and throw in By the way, the planks here are going to be wider in the middle, and then they get thinner as they wrap around. Okay? So that's a, always going to happen. Right, put that in there, and I'm put a little thing sticking out there. Don't ask me why. Just a little bit of detail on the side of the house, let's say, right there. And... Um, Let's see, after that side of the house, so I'm almost done here. What do I have to do? I got the pole here. Let's bring that pole up. Have some rope tapped around that pole. And, uh, oh, that's darn it. I smeared that again. I said I love this pen. You know what it is? It's this paper. It's this paper has the wax content on it. It makes it sheeny. This pen works fantastic on normal white paper, and it doesn't. It dries much quicker. Now it's drawing right now. It's taking uh, each line is taking a little bit longer than I thought because I usually don't draw on this graphics bond with this pen. It's okay, but I usually like this pen in my sketchbook. Okay, or I just use uh, a real base, sort of like Xerox paper. So um, here I'm just going to hang clothes in here. And of course, a little bit of size variation. And there, and then maybe there's a, a pair of socks or something on this side. Okay. So I have some items hanging in there. Let's uh, finish up the ground line here. Okay, a little bit of the back there. And um, let's come in here and get some of this penciled out here. I throw on the bottom. I just put a big old sort of curvy line in there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I love rocks. Gotta have something that breaks it. I hate just a normal line. Gotta have elements that break lines, you know. and let's see yeah, I just have like a swerving sort of line here and I had a couple like a rock here and uh, yeah got this back in here Ah, 
Okay, it's feeling pretty good. Right here. Okay. There. Oh, I've got my interior lines here. That looks funny. It's just one big base shape there. Um, I have a little. I have this window. There could be something inside here. I don't want it to feel totally empty on this wall. So um, I'm going to come in here and see if I can't sketch in. Just uh, maybe I put like something like this, and it looks like it's you know coming down and something else there, or something on the back wall, some type of ceiling or beam or whatnot. Just that way it's not completely empty inside there. So now I'm going to come back really quick here. What am I at? I'm pretty good. 17 minutes right now. So I'm finished. I'm just going to thicken up. Uh, a couple, couple edge lines here, you know, where I want this to be a little bit thicker. Okay. Something, yeah. I had something hanging in there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put a some type of light line coming in there to make it look like it's not so. So it looks like it's sort of turning. A little bit, not so burned thick, you know. And same thing here. I might put a little bit of a of a construction line indication of wood or something in here. Okay, so that's pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is is hit that with marker real quick, and I'll be done. And when I hit it with marker, I'm not going to spend more than about three or four minutes on it. Uh, now I'm going to take off my stuff that I did, and move it aside, throw this back real quick here. I have another piece of white paper I'm going to put underneath so the marker ink doesn't smear, and uh, oops, take my 20% here, and just start coming in and throwing in some shadows, you know, so let's start, I need to think here, what do I want to be dark, what do I want to be light, let's uh, Come in here. This is the part where you just gotta have fun. Trust yourself. Just come in and sort of darken up the sides of these. Maybe a little bit of that there. I want these clothes to pop out. Okay. Um, uh, definitely the door. I think most of the house from this point back I'm gonna have in. A little bit of shadow like this just to pop it a little. Maybe not the frame. Okay, like this. Some of the rooftop. Probably that shape right in there. Have that pop out a little bit. On the desk, let's say, um, dark that part of the back area here, a little bit back there. I think I'm going to try to leave most of the hay looking like it's white to contrast a little bit. Okay.
what I might do to put a little bit of a cheat if there's light coming, make it look like there's maybe a sh part of a shadow rounding part of this right here. Darken the interior and come back now and hit a couple areas. Second coat. I'm going to take a 40 real quick and blend it in and push a couple darks, and that's it. I'll be done. So here I got my 40 and hit a couple darker areas under the roof. Take my 20, blend them in a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit darker there. Hit that chimney, come back with the 40 then. Hit some sides of it a little bit, pop that a little. Okay, that works pretty good. I got this uh, plank of wood here popping up. Come back, hit the side of the 40. Anchor that down a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the metal on the door. And the 40 as well. Hit the top of it like that. I like the white on there. I'm going to leave this. Put a little dab of 40 under the back here where it's going to be a little bit darker. Not going to see too many values in there. Blend some of that forward. Okay. Now I need to get a nice little shadow on this part of the house here. Um, I'm going to do this part real quick. I saw it there sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, what I'm talking about is right in here. So I'm going to take my 40 underneath this and try to really get some of this to pop. And then come back and hit hit it with my 20. Try to blend some of that in. Make it look like it's darker wrapping around. And I might even need to come back with a pen and sort of define some of that that's in there. That little edge right there. And um, I never indicated for surface what that was made out of. I might do a little some type of light wood. And same thing here. A little indication of wood grain. Light as I can get it in there. Okay. And what else do I want to hit on this? That not much more. I think I'm about done. End of the broom, pop that out. Maybe the length of the broom. A little bit under there. Base of a couple of rocks. Base of some of this. Have a little bit of gradations in there. The same thing in here. A little bit of darks in that. I think that's it. I think I would just leave that sketch alone at this point. Um, I, I don't really think I need to put anything else up in here that's going to help indicate anything. If I put anything else in here, I'm going to noodle it too much and it'll ruin any and all of uh, the energy or sketch ability that I have in there. So, um, so you know, I did that roughly in, what am I at now? I'm at somewhere in the neighborhood of about 30 minutes. So imagine... Uh, a little bit more, probably about 35 to 40 minutes. So, you know, 50 minute rough, and then I came in real quick with line and marker. So, and if I started doing those faster and faster, 
um, and doing more of them, oh, you'd be knocking these things out left and right. So, you know, just a little marker comp there, a little example of, of uh, the ability and the speed of using markers. Markers are also really cool for uh, when you're drawing people in your sketchbook for coming in and putting uh, shadows on people. It works really well. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to get ready and for my next demo, which is going to be working in uh, Prismacolor for you guys.